Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September 30th of 2023. Well, it is titled a harvest moon over Tuscany. So what do we see here? Well, over the hilltop on the Italian countryside, we see the full moon just beginning to rise. And here we see the full moon emerging from behind the trees. And we can see the distinct patterns in the moon, the lighter and darker regions, which are associated with two specific different types of terrain on the moon. The lighter colored highlands are more heavily cratered and older. They've been around a lot longer. And the more recently formed Maria are flooded lava plains that formed more recently. Now more recently on the moon just means that they're only three to three and a half billion years old instead of the four to four and a half billion years old for the highlands. So everything on the moon is extremely old compared to Earth. Now this is called the harvest moon and the harvest moon is the name for the full moon that occurs closest to the autumnal equinox. So the first day of fall whichever full moon occurs closest to that is called the harvest moon. And it got this name because farmers could use the moonlight to help with the harvest in days before other electrical lights that you could use the light of the full moon which would rise as the sun set and then set as the sun rose so it would be up all night and able to help farmers harvesting crops especially as the amount of hours of daylight decrease as we come from the longer days of summer and approach the much shorter days of of winter. Now this was also known as a super moon. Now a super moon occurs when the full moon occurs near the time of perigee. And that is when our moon is closest to Earth in its elliptical orbit. This was the last of the four super moons of 2023. And during that super moon, the moon will appear a little bit larger and a little bit brighter in the sky. Not necessarily noticeable unless you had something else to compare it to. In other words, if you just went out and looked at a full moon, you wouldn't really be able to tell just by looking at it that it was a super moon. But if you had images of them taken to the same scale, you could put them together and see that there's definitely a distinct difference in size between the moon when it's at perigee for a super moon or when it is at apogee at its greatest distance from Earth when the full moon occurs. So here we get to see the full moon, the full harvest moon, and in fact, the full harvest super moon that occurred very recently, in fact, just on September the 28th of this year. So that was our picture of the day for September 30th of 2023. It was titled A Harvest Moon Over Tuscany. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be New Moon Near Apogee. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.